We've been talking about the question that Jesus asked to Simon Peter just after his resurrection from the dead. When he said, Simon Peter, do you love me? That's a question we all want to ask to ourselves. Welcome to your daily 180 Bible study. The direction that we want to take this today is to consider how much do we really love Jesus? We've talked about the need to love Him. We've talked about the reasons that we have for loving Him. But the question is, how much do we love Him? Do you love Jesus enough today to lay down your life for Him, to die for Him? In Acts chapter 21, we read about when Paul was on his way to Jerusalem. And there were some of the disciples that were begging him not to go. And the reason was that it had been revealed to them by the Holy Spirit that Paul was going to be bound there. He would be arrested. He would be imprisoned. And Paul said, What is all of this that you, you would weep and break my heart? Do you not know? I'm willing not only to be bound for the cause of Christ, but to die for him. In Philippians chapter 1, Paul would say, For me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. In 2 Timothy chapter 4, when the end of his race was near, he told Timothy, I am already being poured out as a drink offering. Paul had accepted that fate. Paul was content with it. He was ready to die for the Lord. Simon Peter had said that he would very willingly die for the Lord. When he said in John 13, verse 36, Lord, where are you going? And Jesus answered, Where I am going, you cannot follow me now, but you shall follow me hereafter. Peter said, Lord, why can I not follow you now? I will lay down my life for your sake. Jesus said, Will you lay down your life for my sake? Most assuredly, I say to you, the rooster shall not crow till you have denied me three times. Peter was going to grow to that kind of love, but he wasn't there quite yet. But Jesus expects us to willingly lay down our lives for him in the way that we live from day to day and also if called upon to literally lay down our lives. That's something that Jesus expects. And it's also something we might say that Jesus certainly deserves. In Luke chapter 14, Jesus says that if we're not willing to, to turn aside from father or mother or brother or sister, if we're not willing to take up his cross and come after him, if we're not willing to lay down our lives, we can't be his disciple. Do we really love Jesus, the Son of God?